We are back with the Lima Senior Girls Basketball Head Coach, 10-year veteran Vince Holiday, Destiny McDonald on the end in, we're calling it turquoise? Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Going okay, with. you're the color aficionado, <laughs> so we'll go with turquoise. And right next to her in the middle, Taylor Washington. Coach, let's start with you. Uh, you brought your super soft, so yeah. nice to see some young ladies that sure. have progressed and you've seen growth throughout the season from your young team. Oh, absolutely. You know, we have three sophomores and two freshmen that are in our rotation. Obviously, these are uh, the, probably the main, the main two sophomores that start for us every night, and we've slowly gotten better as the season progressed. And uh, I think we've kind of hit our stride in the last couple of weeks, so we're hoping to finish strong here. What's that process like for you? How Early going, kind of frustrating trying to get it going, but it is a process. It's a well, four month long season. Yeah, and obviously it is. And the, the, both of these two, they played as freshmen. Right. I mean, Destiny was a starter last year as a freshman. Taylor kind of came off the bench and backed up Essence and Rian some. Mm -hmm. uh, so they got some of that experience. Now they're just. Now it's full time throwing it, you know, throwing it into the mix. I think the biggest thing for us is we just kind of made it simpler. Obviously, with Essence and Rian, we ran a lot of plays. We ran them for them, right. and and we had a lot of different things that we did. And now the playbook is probably maybe half the size, if not a quarter of the size, of what it was before. It's simpler, and with the freshmen, we just try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, these two understand what's going on, but you have to have them on the floor as well. So we've, like I said, we've built and we've grown, and and. Uh, I like it so far. We'll continue to grow, and we have more young young players going to be coming, so we're going to stay young. Eight wins on the season thus far for the Spartans. Taylor, what was that like last year, seeing Essence and Rion and what they did, and what did you learn from them? Um, seeing them, how fast they played and how smart they were at the game, it made me like like think that you don't have to play fast and try to get yours. You can you know help out, do what you can. Did you enjoy? seeing them and then stepping in for them or a little nervous sometimes because of all that they did? Um, I was definitely nervous stepping in because I didn't think that I was going to be able to pull off 50 points like Rian every day to <laughs> shoot. From, How many can? So <laughs> don't worry about it. Shoot from 30 feet out like, Rian, like Essence, but yeah. I, I felt good coming in and being able to back them up and help out, do what I could. Destiny, as a freshman, starting with that team that was so athletic and so high scoring, what was that like last year? When I first started off, I was nervous. <laughs> More but nervous than being on TV or less? <laughs> Not even close. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but when I first started off, I was nervous. Mm -hmm. But once I got the groove of it and we started practicing and seeing how fast it was, I got used to it. So it really. You got there. Seven steals against Fremont Ross, six steals in your last game. What, what is it about defense that just fuels you, that you, you enjoy playing? Defense wins games. So and I championships know, as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I know if we play good defense, then our offense will just come to us. Then we win the game. How about the defense she creates? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's, you know, she's the front of our press. Mm. Um, she does a very nice job. She, um, she's very quick. She's a great on-ball defender. Um, and, you know, last year she was our spark plug. She's our energy. And this year she's the same thing. She's our energy. And we have some people that can help her out a little bit. But, she, you know, she got bugged with a little heel injury there for a little bit. And we missed her for a couple of games. And you can just tell mm. that we're not the same team. When she's on the floor, our defense is much better. And we just, that creates the havoc that we're trying to create. And she's the main person for that. Some good wins as of late. You had 52 second half points and a win yeah. against Fremont Ross a couple weeks ago. A uh, 14 point win over Salina, and then the overtime win against St. Ursula Thursday. Yeah, that's just, and that's one of those things that we're just having a hard time putting four, four quarters together. And huh. You mentioned the, the Fremont game. We come, we're down nine and a half. We scored 35 points in the, in the third quarter. Wow. And just, just yesterday against St. Ur, the other night against St. Ursula, mm -hmm. um, we had 21 first quarter points. We came out, we're playing really well. Then the second quarter, we couldn't score. We have three. Hmm. Third quarter, we only have nine. But we got to go in in the fourth quarter. Um, Taylor made a couple of nice plays down the stretch, made some baskets. And over time, she knocked down the free throws to, you know, get, to get the win. So um, it's a great team effort, and we just keep battling along. You know, we're, we're nine and ten right now. Hopefully, we got three games to go. We can go two and one, three and zero oh down the stretch and get over 500. And uh, depending on what the tournament draw looks like on Sunday, you know, we can see where we can go from there. Talk about that draw. Is, is it all done already, or is, what's the deadline? Tomorrow? Yeah, well, no, the deadline, we had to submit our vote. Uh, we voted today okay. by 2 o'clock. Okay. So the meeting's on Sunday at 2. Um, obviously, Notre Dame Academy is the team to beat. Yeah. They'll be the number one seed for sure. Um, I seeded us 10th out of the 17 teams in our league okay. uh, in, our, in our sectional there. Um, but I'll be honest, besides, with the exception of Notre Dame, 
we could play with any of those teams. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Start and Whitmer are up there. We played both those in a regular season. They're both tight, close games. We'd have to play really, really well, mm -hmm. but on any given night, we could play with anybody with, with probably the exception of Notre Dame. They're just a whole other level. Taylor, what's your favorite game been this year so far? That's a tough one. I like, I like all the games that okay. we've played so far. Awesome. All the energy we get from them and how we can come together as a team and really pull out a win. Probably Fremont. Fremont was a really good one. That was a fun. And was fun. Finley. <laughs> Finley when um, we played overtime and yep. Kier came up with some really big points and we stayed in the game. Awesome. So excited for, for a tournament run that the ladies can make here coming up. We want to thank Lima Senior Ladies for stopping by and next game Monday? Yes, Monday at uh, Toledo Central Catholic. All right, big one there. So when we come back, we will have